The camera is the eye of history. Matthew Brady, also known as Brady of Broadway, was widely recognized for his beautiful photography. His photos spoke to people without displaying a single word. Brady reshaped the communications industry by training with artist William Page, capturing monumental moments of history by photos, and providing beautiful documentation in national museums. Using many reliable sources, I have learned about Matthew's entire life, including childhood, education, and relationships. Today, I will tell you a little bit about Matthew's background and how he started to become an artist, and finally, how he was the most known man capturing the Civil War. Matthew Brady was born on May 18th of 1822 in Warren County, New York, by his two Irish parents, Andrew and Julia. At 16 years old, he found the passion of artistry and allowing him to pursue help by William Page, who helped teach Matthew how to paint and draw. His artistry was not long lived because he became a clerk at the A.T. Stewart department store with many years of manufacturing of a jewelry case in 1843. Matthew went to New York City with William, where they met Samuel Morse. With these experiences, Matthew shaped the communication industry by training with both of these fellow men, Morse and Page. Samuel was one of the first few to practice using a daguerreotype. Daguerreotype is a form of photography in which the photo is formed into metal. With Matthew made this part of his expertise, he later opened a studio at the corner of Broadway and Fulton Street in 1844. This being why his nickname is Brady on Broadway, showing that his studio was quite successful. Every child has a dream. To pursue the dream is in every child's hand to make it a reality. Samuel Smith wrote this in theory about Matthew because of his excellent behavior and learning abilities. With Samuel teaching Matthew all the tips and tricks about the daguerreotypes, he was able to win medals every single year from 1844 to 1850. During this time, he was given the opportunity to photograph every single U.S. president but William Henry, who died of pneumonia just 31 days into his term. In 1845, he obtained so many photographs, naming them the Gallery of Illusorous Americans. In 1856, he was able to branch out into Washington, D.C. Matthew's sight was declining rapidly, which makes him depend more on his team of assistants who would fan across the country to capture the Civil War. His team created more than 10,000 images of this gruesome war, which gave all the credit to Matthew for capturing monumental moments in history. He was using all his own money to finance this team for the photography, which was believed to be over $100,000. After the war was over, not being able to carry the weight of the storage bill, Matthew sold all his paintings in an auction. With all the beautiful photos sold and out of his possession, he provided beautiful documentation in national museums. By this time, he had a wife named Juliet Handy, but they were never successful in having children. This would be after Matthew's health declined. In 1895, Matthew su suffered from two broken legs from a car accident. He never fully recovered and later died January 15th of 1896. After the death, people's interest in him increased because of his work and a major influence on the document movement and photography in the Depression area of the 1930s. In October of 2012, the National Museum of Civil War Medicine displayed 21 original photog In October of 2012, the National Museum of Civil War Medicine displayed 21 original photographs from the 1862 Civil War. Matthew's life was an excellent one considering his life is still talked about to this very day. In summary, Brady reshaped the communication industry by training with artist William Page capturing monumental moments in history by photographs, and providing a document in national museums. I believe he impacted this community because it was a new way to show an event with such realness and worldwide. With no words needed to explain the horrible war, Matthew was able to portray this type of communication. The camera is the eye of history, and Matthew Brady was just the start of history.